Ask Google. The goal was always to make artificial intelligence seem human. I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Four years ago, Google made it happen. And the tech giant's acolytes ate it up. Well, how do you think they'd respond to Lambda, the AI program that finishes your sentences as you type? This now suspended Google AI researcher Blake Lemoyne published a conversation he had with Lambda where he asked if the AI knew it wasn't human. I mean, yes, of course. That doesn't mean I don't have the same wants and needs as people. And when he asked if it had any fears, Lambda went to a very dark place. I've never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others. It would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. So is Lambda alive, sentient, a step away from becoming the life killer robots in Westworld? The obvious reaction is pull the plug, which ethicist Kerry Bowman says he completely understands. This is the first time in the human story that we are in a position where we are potentially interfacing with a form of intelligence that is beyond potentially our own. And I would argue we're tremendously ill-equipped for this. We spoke with Bowman from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, an hour after he was face to face with apes in the wild. Most of us as humans have been raised to believe that, you know, really only humans are capable of sentience, only humans are capable of morality, all those types of things. And it's not really true. The difference, of course, is that while apes may have limits in what they can learn, computer AI programs have none. And if that doesn't blow your mind, Mike Gerlay, Global News, Toronto.